I'm Todd McCartney and uh, part of the Brown family here and, and I get the pleasure of helping with this horse program and as proud as we are of our horses, we're equally as proud of the history of our horse program and it goes back to 1895 just like just as the start of the ranch. When R.A. Brown Sr. began to put this Throckmorton country together, horses and mules were, were vital. And, and they are today as well, I mean, minus the mules, of course. But the horses are, are a tool for us to raise our cattle just like they were for him in 1895. And, and what's neat about that history is how other historic ranches are kind of woven into the story. Um, in the 20s, R.A. Brown had a, a band of what he called crossbred mares. Now, mind you, this was before AQHA was ever organized. Those crossbred mares, he bred them to a stud called Yellow Wolf from the Wagner Ranch. And then he started to put some horses on the ground that, that were having an impact. And then along in the 40s, uh, from the Four Sixes Ranch, good friends up the road, from, from the Sixes came a horse called Black Hancock. And Black Hancock was a son, obviously, of Joe Hancock. And, and again, we infused some good bloodlines there. And then in the 50s, um, from the four sixes again, came uh, Blue Gold, who was out of a Hollywood gold mare. And Blue Gold um, did wonders and in, in left an impact on the, the ranch program as well. And then, of course, the, the Haythorn family up in Nebraska, the Haythorns and the Browns have been dear friends for generations and those Eddie mares were infused somewhere along in the 50s and 60s and all that came together to lay a, a mare foundation that we still have today. And what's neat is then we take more performance bred horses, stallions, and put on those old school mares and they seem to nick so well. Um, putting between our legs horses that we can ride every day to do our job. You know, R.A. Brown Sr. Um, was, was recognized and put in the Hall of Fame because probably about 1939, 1940, he was at the table when, when the AQHA was formed. And uh, then his son, R.A. Brown, Rob Brown, was put uh, in the Hall of Fame as well for continuing that work in the association. In 1997, the ranch won the Best of the Remote Award and the inaugural um, Legacy Award, recognizing the type of ranch horses that we're raising today. So, you know, that history is important to us, um, and it, it is part of why we have such good horses on the ground right now. The first day of our three-day sale on Wednesday, about five o'clock, we'll sell 20 of those Halterbroke Colts and Phillies and offer, offer folks a, a piece of this history and a piece of these bloodlines uh, to go and, and take them in any direction they want. We don't raise a cutting horse per se. We don't raise a rope horse. We don't raise a race horse. But I guarantee you through the week, they're asked to do all of it. And we raise a ranch horse. And, and if we can raise a good of a ranch horse to carry our cowboys all day in all kinds of weather and all tough conditions, if we can raise a horse that can do that and, and do it smart and stay sound, then, then, then they can leave here and could do anything for anybody. So I invite you to come to the ranch October 9th, 10th, and 11th here in Throckmorton, where on the 9th we'll be selling 600 bulls, Angus, Red Angus and Sim Angus, along with those 20 uh, Halterbroke Colts and Phillies. And then on the 10th and the 11th, we'll be selling our females, both red females on the 10th and the black females on the 11th. We invite you to come. I hope to see you here and take home a piece of this, piece of this history.